More tolls on the roads. That's how one expert believes the government can solve the traffic congestion in the city. Kelisha Williams explores the issue in the final of a three-part primetime news report, Legacy Road Projects, three years on. We go up, carpet. Everywhere you look, pure carpet. If you think it's a road work yet, I literally had to cut and say, you know what, I can't give them everything this year. Managing the traffic congestion in the corporate area appears to be a pipe dream. And according to experts, road expansions have not solved the problem. So what's the way forward? For a professor of urban planning and public policy at UTEC, Dr. Carol Archer, it's public transportation. The JUTC, more investment is needed there. Um, one for the safety and the comfort of persons. And what kind of investment is needed for the JUTC bus system? More buses, more incentive for people to, um, to take the bus. For example, one of the things that we could look at, I know um, there is some consideration at this time, uh, for example, the electric um, buses. <laughs> Another suggestion is for the railway, but how practical is that? What's the economic cost of a Kelisha needing to be at work by 9 a.m., but she leaves home by 6.30, and then it's still tricky to get there for 9 when other things could have been. You, you get what I mean? So we need to look at. What will it cost to not do it? Professor of Economics at Brown University in the United States, Matthew Turner, believes putting more buses on the road and building a railway system are not the answers. In his 2011 study, Professor Turner found that when cities in the United States increased public transit via trains and buses by 1%, it had zero effects on congestion. So since that available capacity is still available for free, you think that someone should come and replace someone should come and replace any any drivers who are diverted to the subway. He explained that based on his research on transportation, congestion pricing has proved to be the best option in reducing gridlock on the roads, meaning people paying to use the road during peak hours. Even in very large congested cities, there is um, sort of extra capacity off peak, right? And so what you want to do is is for people who don't have strong preferences over the time when they take their trip, you want to give them a little nudge to move their trip to an off-peak time. And if you do that, that means all the people who have to get at work at eight, get to work at 8.30 and leave at 5, um, that they're, you free up capacity for them. As for its practicality in a small island developing state like Jamaica... We have to solve this problem some way, um, which means, and, and this is the way that we have. Singapore does it, has done it for a long time, um, in, when it was much poorer than it is now. However, communications manager at the National Works Agency, Stephen Shaw, said congestion pricing would not work in Jamaica. He insists charging a toll on some roads during peak hours would only lead to gridlock in other areas. Now it's left to be seen whether the planned road expansions will make a difference. Kelisha Williams, TVJ News.